Oh, oh, how was you like that? Congratulations, you jumped right into the boss fight. Try not to die. Hello everybody, welcome back to Power Attack, my name's Paul. And I'm Seth, and today we're going to be playing even more Mega Man X. You can't go wrong with this game. Uh, last time we left off, we killed Armored Armadillo to get the Rolling Shield, which is super effective against Launch Octopus. Which is, from what I understand, like his least favorite level or boss, I don't know which. I haven't stopped bitching about it since we started playing. <laughs> and he was... I played his stage a lot as a kid... He was troublesome to beat, but I did have fun playing his stage. I just don't like underwater levels, I think. At least this is kind of like bred into me. Also, these guys. Oh, there we go. Just for a second, it just seemed like the R button didn't want to work. I was hoping that he'd get caught by the tornado. Did he just poop a bomb? Yes. Yes, it looked like he did. Go under one next At least this isn't, like, the same kind of underwater. It's just, like, low gravity, basically. That's true. It's mostly things like these that I found annoying. Oh, thank you for inadvertently saving my life. Ya yeah, dick! Ya yeah, dick! <laughs> you see what I mean? It gets and better. It, and then you get the mini-boss. Oh, there's several of these, too. Because Yellow Submarine... We are living in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Oh, thank you. He's really good at sucking. Ooh. Yes, please. I will take all of my health back, thank you. And plus up for the subject. Now, these are the things I hate. Really? Why? <laughs> Is that an actual question? Yeah. Oh, because they suck you up, and if you don't kill them real quick, you take a lot of damage. And there's fucking many of them that one will just take you after the other. Oh, oh, how would you like that? Congratulations, you jumped right into the boss fight. Try not to die. Yeah, that one's hard. Okay, so, tornado time. I think. At least it starts you right there. Think that the that Chill Penguin's weapon would be good here. Like just on the notion that ice, water, like it makes sense. Fuck! Oh, and then the, just the light. Uh -huh. I see where you died. <laughs> <sighs> this one is such a pain in the dick. This is the worst part of this stage person in charge of the whole sub is sitting there like, get the light there, I wanna, I wanna see the corpse. I gotta think if I wanna use the X-Buster or the Tornadoes. I gotta just use the X-Buster. Probably fire in the right direction. Hold on, we're, yeah, we're going back to the... No, Pokemon says that would work. That's true. Pokemon says it. Oh, you're scaring me. <laughs> That's not you're working. You're scaring me. Use the lemons! At least that one stops most of them. Now, when does he decide to blow instead of suck? I realize what the safest thing to do is just sit to that side. You just jump up in the middle when he's sucking above the platform like that, and then when he blows away, at least you can just blow to the platform. Now... Like, things like that where there's like the insta-death spikes and... I think there's something up here. No, just help. <coughs> and, and, and him... Yeah, that's incredibly cheap. Stuff. I don't like that. That's why, that's one of the main reasons I hate this level. Yeah, that's... There's like three mini-bosses here. One of which is optional, but we're gonna fight him. Oh wait, no, there's four mini-bosses, one of which is option. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about this guy. Am I gonna find him? I guess I will. Did that... is that torpedo trying to avoid me? Oh. 
What now, you might be wondering? I'll launch many small robots that will lift you into the air dangerously. Sing, bitch, sing! Oh wait, we actually did have to kill him. Because he destroys that. So we can go down and fight the other mini-boss. See? Now here's the question. Have you missed the option? No, this is the optional mini-boss. Okay. So really, then there's, what, two optionals? Well, yeah, I guess. And they're linked together. If you beat this guy, you can get a heart tank. An easy way to do this is just... Ride the dragon? Are you high on heroin? Are you riding the dragon? I was just thinking of Dragon Ball Z just now. You chopped his bloody head off. Do, 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 do. And of course I'm not going to be able to get that help, but... I mean, you could. It'd just be the same as, like, walking into the burning building to get a piece of toast. <laughs> How do I get out? This has trapped me forever! <laughs> Never gonna... Okay, here's the next boss, or mini-boss. Oh yeah, it's one of the dragons again, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. I love that it, like, it loses frames every time. Yeah, no, it's... This game has... I just realized, like, my two favorite video game series both have that problem where they lose frames because too much shit's going on. This and Dynasty Warriors both just, like, have that problem. The newer ones, not so much, but the old ones, like... On the PlayStation 2, my god. If there were, like, too many soldiers on screen, it didn't know what to do. I mean, this one's just... It's just a limitation of the hardware, right? Because it's such an old... Yes. But I think they never fixed it either in the, uh... In the, like, virtual console, and, like, I have it on the, uh, 3DS. Just for, just for nostalgia. Or not 3DS, uh... I have it on the virtual console. Where else do I have it? Oh, on the, on the, no, the PlayStation, the virtual console is the Wii. The, uh, PS2, there's a Mega Man X collection, and I have that, and it still lags on all of them. Oh. Huh. I think it may have been software-oriented to prevent the hardware being overloaded, maybe? That's the oh, only thing I can figure. Oh, so in order for it to not, like... Crash, I guess. Yeah, destroy the hardware. <laughs> well, now, what you gonna do? <laughs> Something? Yep. I was waiting. Oh! <laughs> That's what we call almost fucking up. Oh, gosh. No! Run away! I don't want Did you see how quickly he got rid of that shield? I don't want your technically goodness. I was pretty sure it was the rolling shield. Oh, I can't. I mean, it's doing, like, chunks out of it. We you beat Tentacle Rape. I've seen enough anti to know where this is going. I mean, you are in your pink suit. It's my Sailor Moon suit. It's pink and white. Fighting evil by moonlight. Was there not a suit upgrade in this one? No. I don't think so. It is the armor, and it is in uh, Stink Melee stage. So who's next? Theoretically, if you're going in order, then it's um, him, it's uh, Boomer Dwanger, aka Robot Michael Jackson. I've watch him, watch him. I think he's Robot Michael Jackson. He's just got the dance moves. He's also creepy. So, I mean, so far he's really hitting the mark. This one was always frustrating for me because. A, the hammer, Joe. Okay, I thought I'd be out of range um, there. Cheat trick, use the tornadoes. Shoot it while he's shielded, and then as he unshields himself to attack, he leaves himself open. That thing. I hate those. It will respawn. up. If, when you kill that one, another one will spawn off stage. Just jump uh, over the hammer, Joe. Dash jump. Uh, you gotta bat what? boost first. You gotta boost first. Back off! Back off! I hate those things. 
and now it gets fun with that thing. This what is like, are you? It's like a derpier version of the ones from the first level, I think. Oh. So and you can, you, cannot, just... you just have to run through and you cannot hurt those. You I cannot see. hurt. Or try not to get shot if you do trigger the laser. <laughs> nah. uh, switch to tornado real quick. No. Yeah. Yeah. One tornado will kill him. Go away. No, there's another. There's more. Of course there are. And this one, you can just shoot the tornado right through it and not care. Wee. Oh, I do like something that this game did that it's very subtle that the old Mega Man games didn't do. With, uh... Oh boy, this area. Yes. Um, just avoid the spikes. It will go faster. Don't try the glitch. You just hope for the glitch to save you. For people watching, the glitch is if you take damage from one of those guys... I'm literally not trying to fight these guys. I just want to not yeah. die. If you take damage from one of those and you're flashing, like, invincible, and one of the platforms comes down on top of you, you will glitch past it. Also, um, you can get in that wall. But yeah, the little thing that I like that X does that normal Mega Man doesn't is in normal Mega Man, you know how there's the little capsules that you can get for you should just get past them on the platform. Um, it refills if you have a special weapon on it, refills that, or it will just refill like the next one Bitch. if you're not on. Them. In normal Mega Man, it will only refill the special weapon you're on, and if you don't have one on, it doesn't do jack. So. You have to switch to the one you want refilled if it's empty, and then switch back. It's really annoying. Really bad design. You can let it go right there and I'll kill him. Remember, you got the back blast. Also, you can just get on the uh, other one. You can get on the lower one and jump there. Go ahead. Okay. Just kill it. Oh, fuck. It's there. Yep. Just wait for that. Jump. There you go. Easy peasy. Thinking I might need a sub tank here. Okay. Well, you know, funny thing, there's a heart tank here, but you can't get it without the boss's weapon from this stage. So you literally have to beat it, replay it. Right? Yes. And it is right there. There is a way to get it, but it'll take forever, and it's not worth a try. You have to like hope um, you do the wall jump at the precise time. I'm gonna wait, and if I get hit again, I'll sub tank. All right. This part can get frustrating because those will respawn. If you fall too far, that is, I think. If I remember right, they do. Also, it has the annoying uh, wall bastards. Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah, see? Don't get crunched by those either. It will kill you. <clears throat> Wee! It will chop your torso right in half. Hey. That's really graphic for Mega Man. Fuck off! Hey, I don't Dash need jump that. over. Or you can get on the platform. Just try not to get shot. Ah, uh, what if I like getting shot, huh? You're not getting very far through the game. It's in before it respawns. Right. Can you, can, you can, can you not... You can barely jump up and kill that thing, yeah. Also, the propellers will not hurt you. I don't think. I don't think they do. Ah, son of a Just bitch. jump up the wall. Fucking... <laughs> you you I felt almost... It. You I felt it. <laughs> I felt boss. you cringe. Maybe I should do the... Nah. Bowl. Yeah, you can do that. No, not the escape unit. There you go. Uh, what's the Shoot buttons. Um, you want homing tornadoes. Huh? Er, shh, torpedoes. My bad. Homing I like, tornadoes. I was like, is the I was like, is the charged one? No. Okay, so... And one at a time. Yeah, don't bother to charge Hi. It. You can just stay up the wall just and just shoot him. Just shoot. Just avoid the boomerang. Just keep shooting every now and then. It'll, yeah, it'll hit him right out of that. It's like, ah, ah. Yeah, just every couple seconds, just launch another one. This is long enough for him to not be, have the invincible status. <laughs> See how easy it is when you have the right weapon? Uh. <laughs> He's like, what do I do? <laughs> that was... A joke. Yeah. That didn't feel like a fight. No. Cheers. Yeah, woo! I beat up a defenseless old man! I mean... You get boomerang cutter.
I beat up Captain Boomerang. <laughs> the worst villain. I actually Best like his design villain? a lot. Best villain. Alright, so... And then... We'll go back and get the hard things and shit eventually. Probably after beating this guy. Sing Chameleon. Castlevania? Yeah, basically. That's what that weapon looked like anyway. The irony of... of... Robot tree. I mean, yeah. I mean, the whole, like, whole of everything is, like, robotic. Oh, that's, yeah. That's fair, because you're looking at, like, every robot animal, but still. They're all, like, designed by people, and they're, like, still trying to have, like... It's funny, because they act like they have to care about humans. You never see them in the game. Oh, wait. Where am I going? Just something about specifically... By the way, this is perhaps the most annoying mini-boss in the game. I'm glad I'm not fighting it. No, there's just some, something about Robot Tree that really loves it. Oh, his stomach's a smiley face. I'm guessing you have to hit him in the back. I don't remember. I think you have to hit him in the eye. You, see, you know that tiny thing on his head? Oh, yep, that did damage. It's a very hyper-specific... Oh, you dick! You dick! <laughs> I'ma hit you, and I'ma hit you again! You dick! Do you mind? <laughs> Holding, maybe? I just tried! I guess it's X-Buster. X-Buster bust? That works. That works. Might have to sub-tank this shit. That works just because it gives me more angles to hit from. Sir, would you mind dying, please? I I terribly would mind. In fact, I'm sub-tanking. Are you? I'm Are you trying sure? real hard. <laughs> Are you sure? No. So... He will eventually die, right? The game seeming to hint that he will. I mean, it also kind of implied that you could kill Bile at first. That is true. You are almost out. Oh, he's starting to smoke. Yeah, he's at the halfway point! <laughs> I mean, that's how it feels. You see why I said this is like the most annoying mini boss in the goddamn game? Well, my favorite part is you didn't exactly remember how to damage him at first. So now. You lost like a good third of the health being like, how the fuck do I damage this guy? Yep. I always remember him being annoying. But not that annoying? Uh, probably. I believe. You know what, really, though? He did what Trump said. He built a wall. <laughs> so, I mean, he can't be all bad. That I'm is a joke, kidding. people. That is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's worth it, though, because now you take 50% da uh, damage. So. That was sarcasm, guys. We were being sarcastic. No, it's just that clip will now be taken out of context forever. Alright, there we go. Now we're armored. We got all four armor pieces. And it's still the And now we go get the token? I mean, I was like, are you, are you You're not allowed to leave! Alright, no. Let me go down here. Slide real slow, like. I mean, basically. Now, here's where it gets fun. Oh. Now have fun getting back. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> you didn't fall into a pit. Were it that we could all say that? Yeah, that totally doesn't look like... Yeah, that totally doesn't stick out any. 
the off color not lined up with the rest of the repeating texture. I could totally skip them, but I'm trying to build health back up in the sub tanks. <laughs> we need it. Although that's what the armored armadillo stage is for, so we'll go there before we hit Sigma. I like how in a lot of games, like when I play FNAF, it's like, I hope I can beat this, and this game is like, yeah, it's happening. Yeah, dick! Well, that went to a lot of use. Yeah, dick. You should sub-tank. Right now. Barely missing anything. I think, I think you need to sub-tank. I'll take that. Ooh, he scanned. That extra life will make up for our lack of subs. Tanks. Sub-tanks. Tank you. Um, I didn't know that we were watching a mecha anime. I just thought it was Rock and Sock and Robots. But they're the same color. Yes. What's your point? I, I like that he does this and only that to make it move. It's back and forth, and it just just goes forward. Left leg, right. They just left let leg. They right, let right. X pretend that he's doing anything, but it's really being controlled from somewhere completely else. I got to scare you. <laughs> to quote you, he's coming like, "Witness me!" It's like 500 miles an hour. Oh, no, apparently X doesn't want to leave. No, it's my <laughs> robot. I earned it. <laughs> All right, boomerang cutter. Witness me! <laughs> like a million miles an hour. Silver spray paint. Shh. <laughs> that, that. <laughs> oh, right. I'm supposed to do that. Why isn't this working? I definitely can't see him. That's for sure. I think it's just let it roll over my head. And... So... Okay. It's like, you seem to be having trouble getting it to hit, but... It, it... You just gotta find the right spot. Well, is, there, is there a weapon that might be easier for this? But... That's got the arc to actually hit above you, and he's gonna constantly be above you. He's gone. It's just you always... And I forget, if you jump, it arcs down. Hmm. It does not arc back up, like you would think at first. Well, if you pull away the way it yeah. is, is lower, it's trying to... Yeah, and so that's why I tried to under and then move away. Alien Sting, and we are now bright emerald freaking green, which is actually a cool color scheme. <laughs> Let's see, all Maverick 8 should be defeated. Yup. Cutscene. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Conveniently, after you've defeated the eight robot masters. Cha, like, obviously, man. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. I have never I, seen a human in I read all... that as angst. I didn't see against. <laughs> and to his war angst the humans. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, man, let's go. <laughs> Notice the music changed. Alright, so... With that, the only thing left is for us to go collect the other shit, and we'll do that on our own time so you don't have to deal with it. Uh, and then fight Sigma with his bright blue gorgeous eyes. He's... Hey, what about the red one? Is that just a really bad pimple? Yes. He refuses to let Zero hit it with the laser sword. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for joining us. I'm Paul. I'm Seth. And this has been Power Attack. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe below, and watch our other videos. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye.